Okay, I'm here to talk about DVD recorder. A DVD recorder is one of the most piece of junk things ever built. Um, well, really it is. It's kind of a piece of junk. One of the most piece of junk things you could ever have. The reason why I bought one for the second time after a long time ago when I used to use it for my camcorder and to record TV and stuff. The reason why I did this was because I wanted to really... How do I put it? I wanted to... I wanted to explore it again. I never really used it on a consistent basis. Basis. I didn't know what it's capable of, and now I know it's not capable of much. Quality's terrible. I have approximately 50, 100, 200 blank DVDs left, and I'm just I'm trying to polish off all my laser discs and record everything onto these DVDs. Well, I got an error today. Now, it went through the first disc fine when I went on the first side of the laser disc, but when I flipped it, put it in, about halfway through, the laser disc player got, um, not the player, the disc, I think it was the problem, got an error, and it knocked me out. So I was kind of pissed. Funny though, when I finalized the disc to try to get it out to see if there was more problems, just to see, there wasn't any problems, it came out fine. So I guess there was something wrong with the disc. That's the number one problem no one mentions with these DVD recorders. Not only do the problem, do the players have a plague of problems with them. I had a uh, JVC before if you on my channel if you want to look at it. That one were, that one randomly turned off and it said that all over the internet. Yet the people that sell them still put them on there. Do they not look it up to see if it has a problem and not to sell it to people? Beats me. Um... I just like to say that the machines are not the only thing that are plagued with problems. The discs are all full of them. It doesn't matter what brand you have, although it does when it comes to putting them in the player, because some of them won't recognize a certain brand name. Like, um, I was trying to put verbatim, or what was it? There was a certain brand name I was trying to put into my recorder and wouldn't read it correctly. Um... Oh no, that was another one. That was the JVC. Never mind. It wasn't the um, RCA or RCR, whatever the hell I'm using now. So, um, the discs can be the issue. Regardless of the brand name, there's going to be defective discs. I used to have a ton of them back in the day when it came to DVDs and um, CDs. Although I hadn't had any problems with all those Harry Potter discs that I copied. Um... I had a few bad ones that I I recorded the wrong one, but besides that, I have to tell you that um that they're all pretty good. That's a hundred discs per Harry Potter. The Stephen Fry and the Jim Dale one. But that's different. So, you know what's gonna happen with this. Now what happens if I well, first of all, I bought fifty I have four fifty packs of DVDs. I bought them from the flea market. They were brand new in the wrap still. So I thought I'd take a chance. I haven't tried any of them yet because I have three more discs to go before I reach the flea market discs. I don't know if anything goes wrong. I'll, I bought them for about five bucks a piece. I know that's a little too much, especially for a flea market. But go online and try to buy blank DVDs. You're not going to find them that cheap. There'll be more money. So, But they're older discs. But they should work with these players. Because they've all been around at the same time, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, good luck to everyone with this. Um, I just wanted to teach you about DVD recorders and tell you what the problems are. Some DVD recorders will allow, if you have an S-Video port, will allow you to assign it to S-Video or Composite. Some of them, um, if you put Composite and S-Video both in at the same time, usually the S-Video takes over. So you got to remember that. But you can still use the audio in the composite um, for the for the audio and then the com, um, S video will be on the picture. All right um and who knows maybe this error tonight could mean it bit the dust. If that's the case I'll just get rid of the recorder and throw it away. But it has a really nice clock display on it and it's very bright. You can't find many players with bright displays anymore so I might keep it just for a clock. All right bye bye.